Hi everybody, it's Carly, the better half of the green riding couple. And today, we're going to show you how to plasti dip your dirt bike because I don't want to paint it because it's permanent and what if I wanted to change. <laughs> so, first we're going to work on the seat here. And as you can see, we went to the practice 15 track. Some of the paint come off, came off, so we have special fabric spray paint that we're going to use. So first you can take off the seat, there's a little clamp here, and you just press it up. And then you kind of lift it up here, and then there's a little section up here you just pull up. And ta-da, it came off perfectly. So there's the seat, and then we're going to put a few more um, coats of black paint on it. Alright guys, David here, the uh, better rider of the good riding couple, <laughs> even though we both are kind of sucky. No! Anyways, we're going to use some uh, dupli color fabric and vinyl spray paint. It works decently good. We only put two coats on. You should have put probably like six or seven. So I'm going to go ahead and apply six or seven. Now, shake the can. Spray paint it needs to be warmed up a little bit. We're just going to do even coats. Once you put it on, we're going to move on and Carly's going to spray paint her plastics. To give you guys a follow up on our previous video at the Practice 15 where I was saying about the forks leaking, they actually weren't leaking. We took the bike apart. Turns out the guy that owned the bike before hadn't used ball bearing grease on the, uh, the axle. He had used, I guess like WD-40 or something and it pretty much just spewed out as Carly started to ride it. So the more she rode it, the more it spewed out. We cleaned it up, put some proper ball bearing grease in. I haven't had any problems since. Alright, we're going to watch Carly clean her plastics now. All right, so now as our seat dries, um, we're, going, we're going to work on this pink plastic. As you can see, our first coat kind of happened on a windy day, so it has a weird texture to it, but gives it some character, gives the new yammy some character. So first we're going to take out this part. We're going to hand tighten, I mean loosen. <laughs> yeah, there's no washer or nut on the other side, so it's pretty much just goes on to tighten as it is. And then on the other side, it's just a little nipple right there, and you just pull that right out. It's pretty straightforward on this bike. It's, everything's on it pretty easy, except for the brake system. I don't like the brakes that it has. I'd prefer if it had disc brakes. It'd be a lot more responsive, but what can you do? Put this on this part. Just slide it right off. And riding. See that how windy that was? <laughs> windy. Okay. Should we do it back there? Yeah, just do it inside. Okay. Oh. We'll just leave this to the pro. Coat one done. Okay, now it's shroud time. Now that I've taken all the bolts and washers with the socket set, I'm going to take off the this part, and in order to do that. I have to remove the gas tank because there's a clip there. Gas cap. Gas cap. <laughs> I can't remove the whole gas tank. So. Just 
just kind of move the handlebars out of the way. Thanks, David. Um, thanks, Dave, for the gun. Just kind of lift it up. So now we have a, a nice naked bike. Part two is we're going to try to clean the air filters. Filter. Filter. So for these parts, I got two different um, protect dips. I got just a plain black one, and I got this metallic sparkly gray one to put on top. So I just did one pure black, and then I did multiple um, layers of this uh, premium kind. So now I'm going to spray it so. So now we're going to remove the uh, back shroud and we have to remove the bolts from underneath the shroud. We're doing that with an 11 um, socket. And it's also raining so we have to move the party inside. I forgot to mention. Now we're going to continue finishing this back shroud and so I'm going to start with a black uh, first coat on this part here because we forgot to um, plastic, plastic dip it and technically we should be painting off the, um, the plastics first and then we're going to put a few coats of the premium um, gray we put on the other plastics to hopefully match so here goes nothing